The Spine Shielder Amulet is perhaps the most elusive item in Baldur's Gate 3, and potentially the most sought after by those aiming to create the perfect reverberation spellcaster build. To acquire it, you need to progress to the second act of the game and reach Moonrise Towers. Once inside, and after you have moved past the initial cutscenes in the throne room, proceed to the second floor using the stairs. When you reach the top of the stairs, turn left and engage in conversation with Commander Zirel. Make sure to play along until you've completed the conversation. Once this is done, she will provide you with a key that will open the door to Balthazar's room. Start making your way to that room. Inside, you will see two additional doors. The wooden one leads to combat. You can take that route if you don't mind killing some NPCs, while the other one, with the lever next to it, leads to the balcony. I've chosen the balcony route, where you encounter another locked door that requires a very high dice roll to open. However, for a character skilled in the art of lockpicking, this should be no problem. Inside, you will encounter an undead dog, which you can either kill or pass a conversation check to make it leave you alone. Finally, you arrive at the door leading to the Spine Shader Amulet. At this point, I strongly recommend creating a safe game because it may take you a few attempts to get it right. Inside, you will find what appears to be an ordinary chest, but is actually a mimic. If you rush into the room, the mimic will attack you immediately and you will miss your chance to obtain what you came for. To handle this flawlessly, you will need a strength-based character wielding a bludgeoning weapon such as a hammer or club, and you will need to deal at least 25 damage in a single hit. The second thing you need to do is sneak, and activate turn base mod. Then, simply approach and strike the chest. If you manage to kill it in one shot, the loot will be on the ground waiting for you to pick it up. In case you fail to one shot the chest, just reload your save game and try again. Alternatively, you can use a few smoke powder bombs. Again, sneak to get close enough to the chest and drop the bombs near it without triggering the mimic inside. You can then Shoot them with any ranged weapon or use a firebolt cantrip. Once this is done, the amulet should be yours. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the comments below where I do my best to help. If you want to see more guides, simply head out to my channel. And if this video was helpful, please consider giving it a like. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.